Welcome to our podcast. In this episode, we delve into the mystery of dead stars, magnetars, and unseen signals. Stars have an expiry date and die out like all entities in the universe. Everything in the universe, including our sun, will become non-functional at one point in the future. When they die, they go out with a large explosion, which is called a supernova. Stars usually collapse due to the weight of gravity when they run out of fuel, which produces a strong explosion. Additionally, some stars simply morph into a black hole. These are the two ways for stars to go out. Most stars, after completing their life cycle, simply become white dwarfs, which refers to the core of what once used to be a star. Astronomers claim that the core material is the key ingredient in all living forms. Integral discovery of a burst with associated radio emission from the Magnetar SGR 1917-5 plus 2154 DAS, which studied and recorded this data, by S. Merigetti et al., was recently published in the Astrophysical Journal Letters. Recently, a collaboration of telescope-based research across the globe found that a dead star is emitting an unusual combination of radiation in the Milky Way galaxy. This has never been witnessed before. The radiation involves two phenomena, magnetars and fast radio bursts. The former refers to remains of stars which are home to the world's most intense magnetic fields. Once active, the magnetars emit radiation harboring high amounts of energy, which mostly last shorter than a second but produce more light than our sun. Fast radio bursts refers to waves that appear and disappear. These mostly last for less than a few milliseconds. These were first discovered in 2007. After disappearing, these are barely spotted again. Scientists discovered something uncanny. A magnetar which was already logged six years ago suddenly showed signs of activity again. Its official name is SGR. 1917-5 plus 2154. However, as opposed to a usual magnetar, it was emitting radio waves alongside X-rays. In essence, this may hold answers to the unsolved mysteries of magnetars and FRBs. Until this year, radio waves never emerged from a magnetar, or at least not on record. The finding was confirmed across different space stations on the globe. This serves as the first basis for any scientific link between magnetars and FRBs, which were earlier seen as separate entities. Scientists had, for a long time, suspected that fast radio bursts emerge from magnetars, which are also likely to be responsible for explosions that emit a large amount of light. Thank you for listening to our podcast. We have many more such compelling episodes for you. Enjoy them. Do share your opinion in the comment box and subscribe to us for more.